everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing the pros and cons of being a pastry chef based on my own personal experience. So if you are considering a career as a pastry chef or you're just curious to know a little bit more about the profession and what it's like to be a pastry chef, then this is the video for you. Now before we dive into the pros and cons of being a pastry chef, if you are new here and you have not yet subscribed, my name is Andrea. I make vegan baking videos amongst other types of videos, so I'd love to have you follow along by subscribing to my channel and don't forget to ring the bell so that you guys know exactly when my next video comes out. Okay, so here's just a little bit about me before we get started with this list. I went to Le Cordon Bleu Paris in Paris, France, which was amazing and it was my dream to become a pastry chef. I particularly loved French pastry, so I completed my internship and worked in France in a pastry boutique for six months before coming home back to Canada, where I worked in restaurants, catering, I started my own business on the side, as well as teaching pastry at a college. So I just want you to keep in mind that these are the pros and cons that I have personally noticed during my six years as a pastry chef. Okay, I'm gonna start off by looking at the cons of being a pastry chef so that we end this video on a positive note with the pros. All right, the first con is that it is a highly physically demanding job. This is something that I sort of knew ahead of time that I'd be on my feet a lot, but I did not know the extent of how physically demanding this job really is until I was in the industry working. When I started off as an intern, I was working 10 hour days minimum, sometimes 12 to 14 hour days, and that was pretty standard. So for most of these hours, you're on your feet, which is hard enough, but on top of it, you're working hard, you're often hunched over over a table doing some kind of detail work or a lot of repetitive action with your hands. You're carrying heavy things. All of those ingredients that you need to make those beautiful desserts, you're the one who's going to be lifting and carrying those boxes. And depending on where you're working, you might have to go up a lot of stairs, but even just putting away those boxes of ingredients is a workout in itself. And I know that when we're young and our bodies are fit and we're in our greatest shape of our life, we're not really thinking, too far ahead, but keep in mind, all of this physical activity will eventually catch up with you. So you do have to think, can you physically sustain this job into the future? Is your body made for it? One of the reasons why I am no longer an actively working pastry chef is because I started damaging the joints in my hands. And after lots and lots of testing, doctors just said that the joints in my hands were already loose to begin with and that they just weren't made for this kind of repetitive strain day in, day out. So I had to actually rethink my career after that. I still make pastries. I still do a ton of baking. So keep in mind, there are other ways that you can still be a pastry chef but not be working super strenuously and putting all that strain on your body okay the second con is that you can pretty much say goodbye to your evenings and weekends your holidays basically any time that your friends or family are off work enjoying life you are working this is something that in the first couple years of being a pastry chef wasn't too big of a deal for me because I was still super young. And if you're lucky, you become really close friends with everyone in the kitchen who you're working with and they become your friends. They become your social life within work. So you don't really feel like you're missing out too, too much. But I noticed as the years go on, I was constantly missing out on big events because I had to work evenings or weekends or during holidays. Again, this is something you might not think about or that will really bother you or get in the way when you're young, but think about down the road, especially when you want to start a family or even just being in a relationship. It can be really challenging to have that work-life balance. All right, con number three is that being a pastry chef is a highly, highly stressful job. It's either your name on the menu, so your reputation is on the line, or just the business itself that you're working for, their reputation is on the line, and it all comes down to the quality product that you are producing day in and day out. And let me tell you, there are so many times when things go wrong in the kitchen and you have to fix them or orders come in and you just really wanna please those clients. So you have to put in those extra hours and it can be super, super stressful or people don't show up to work and everyone's relying on you to perform everyone else's duties. And there is so much going on constantly all at once. So there is 
is a lot of multitasking required to be a pastry chef. So if you're someone that gets stressed out very easily or finds it difficult to manage your time or multitask and you get anxious and overwhelmed very easily, this is gonna be a huge struggle when being a pastry chef. But at the same time, I do wanna say, because I struggled with a lot of these things, but I still was able to do my job really well, these are things that you can work on, but this really depends on your personality. So if you are kind of daily stress and anxiety from the job, just start taking over your passion and love for being a pastry chef then you're going to probably want to rethink this career or find a different sort of path within the realm of being a pastry chef that is a little bit less stressful on you. Okay, this next one I guess could be looked at as either a con or a pro depending on you. And this also depends on where you work. So if you are working in a restaurant type setting, be prepared that you're not only going to wear the hat of a pastry chef, you're going to become a sous chef a pizza maker, a salad maker, a dishwasher, a cleaner, maybe even a server. There are so many roles in a kitchen that you as a pastry chef could have to fill just based on the fact that you are responsible for only a tiny portion of that menu. And therefore, anytime that you are not fulfilling your pastry chef duties, you are jumping on to other stations and having to do that kind of work stuff that you probably were never trained for, but you are expected to do. Now, when I say you could look at this as a pro, I have to say being thrown into these situations where I didn't know what I was doing, I actually learned so much. I learned a lot about cooking and things that I might not have learned otherwise if I wasn't thrown into those situations. But if you're not prepared to be flexible within a restaurant and you really just want to be the pastry chef, then that might be a little bit challenging depending on where you're working. Okay, con number five is that being a pastry chef is not glamorous. Unless you are one of the like 1% that ends up with their own cooking show, or you just reach this kind of celebrity pastry chef status, or you reach a really high position in a very, very renowned type of restaurant or other type of establishment, chances are you are doing a lot of very unglamorous type of tasks. For example, cleaning is the biggest one. You are going to spend a lot of time at the end of each shift cleaning and sanitizing your station. And if you are part of a team, then you're not just responsible for your little tiny section in the kitchen, you're helping out with absolutely everything. So along with all of the amazing things you get to do as a pastry chef, you do have to be willing to do this kind of grunt work. You're gonna be on your hands and knees, cleaning things, doing stuff that nobody really has fun doing. Con number six, this is something that I felt as a female personally within the industry industry, particularly in the restaurant industry. More often than not, when you're in a kitchen as a female, you are very much outnumbered by men. So it is a very male driven type of environment. Now, this is something that I just didn't really think of beforehand. And it did take me by surprise to learn kind of how this kitchen culture has evolved. And there's a lot of jokes happening. There's a lot of vulgar kind of talking going on all the time. And just from my own personal experience, again, this is not for everyone, but being a female, you feel like a female in a kitchen full of men. So ladies, you know when you're walking by a construction site, that feeling you get, it can feel like that sometimes. And there are times that you're just, you're going to feel uncomfortable or things are gonna be said to you and you don't know how to respond or you're just not willing to put up with certain type of comments and a certain type of kind of atmosphere at work. Again, this is not every single restaurant. This is not every single workplace within this industry. I have worked in kitchens where females outnumbered men and there was an entirely different kind of atmosphere in the kitchen, but this is just something to be wary of as a young female entering this industry that it is still very male dominated. 
kitchens can become places just as any workplace where harassment is present and may go unnoticed. So I just want to say if you don't feel comfortable, you definitely need to stand up for yourself, talk to someone or get out of a bad situation or environment that is not making you feel comfortable. And the last con to being a pastry chef is that the pay is not the best. So unless you are one of these lucky people to reach that celebrity chef status or just have a really high position in a company, your pay is not that great. Okay, now that we've gotten all that negative stuff out of the way, we can focus on the positives of being a pastry chef. Number one, you get to be creative every single day and express yourself creatively through what you are doing and making with your hands, which is absolutely amazing when you are a creative person. This is hands down my favorite part of being a pastry chef. And secondly, you will never be bored in this job. Being a pastry chef every single day is typically very different from the next depending on where you work, of course, but menus are constantly changing or if you're working at a catering company, your types of clients and orders coming in and occasions and things that you're making are constantly changing. So this is really the opposite of your boring nine to five desk job. Your career is going to feel exciting if you're someone like me who gets bored very easily and likes constant change, then this is the career for you. The third pro of being a pastry chef is that you could potentially just have these really unique opportunities presented to you. For example, in my very first job as a pastry chef, I got the opportunity to work with a charity and I got to be partnered up with a designer of my choice that was on this list of designers participating and I was able to choose to be partnered up with Jillian Harris and I got the opportunity to create the gingerbread house that she personally designed and then we auctioned it off for charity. Also, when I worked at a catering company, I was part of this event that was promoting one of the Fifty Shades of Grey books. So we actually created a man, like the bust of a man, out of chocolate, covered it in rose petals and some other decorations and got to go to this event. And that was just something I will never forget. It was so funny making this man sculpture out of chocolate. And that's definitely something I would have never been able to do if I I was not a pastry chef. Another really cool opportunity I had was to create a record-breaking largest s'mores for the Pan Am Games. And this is just such an amazing memory and an opportunity that, again, I would not have had if I was not a pastry chef. The next pro is that when you become a pastry chef, you don't have to just be a pastry chef in a restaurant or work for a catering company. There are many different kind of paths that you can take. You could work in recipe development. You can instruct and teach at many different levels. You can be a food blogger or something to do with social media. You can own your own business. There are many different paths that you can take. But keep in mind that typically a lot of these paths do require you to have that kind of traditional pastry chef experience, whether it's an internship working in a restaurant, a bakery, a catering company for a given number of years before you can kind of take your knowledge and expertise to a different level. The next pro to being a pastry chef is if you're working in a restaurant, for example, chances are you're going to be getting some sort of staff meal throughout the day and just eating some really good food. When you're working in a kitchen, you're constantly tasting things other people are having you taste what they've made and you're just surrounded by all this good food and good quality ingredients i remember not having to pack a lunch for many years when i worked in restaurants which was really good and if you're not working in a kitchen but you're surrounded by baked goods and all that stuff chances are you can take those things that don't sell at the end of the day or extras of stuff and have them at home enjoy them with family and friends so that's just another little perk and my last pro for being a pastry chef is that you can pretty much work globally. Typically your credentials and your experience for sure are recognized all over the world. So you really do have a lot of opportunities and you can 
work in other countries if that's something that you're interested in. All right, guys, that is the end of my list of pros and cons of being a pastry chef. If you have any questions for me at all, you can just ask away in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful for you, please give it a like. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.